Hi everybody and welcome back. We are now on episode one of our series, Help, I'm Stuck at Home. And I'm once again talking to Leanne Hunt. I'm Karen House. And today's episode is called, How's This Going to Work? Because we're now in day one of our lockdown. It's our 21 day lockdown in South Africa. And I'm actually just finding a lot of people are worried because others are outside and they're inside. There still seems to be a, a lot of a chatter about, well, how come others are outside and I have to be in? It's, it's an interesting dynamic going on at the moment on day one. Leanne, what have you observed as this 21 day lockdown is beginning? Well, yeah, it's interesting, Karen. Certainly on the radio, we've, um, we have heard complaints from people who feel that uh, people aren't observing the, the lockdown properly. <laughs> um, that's not uh, necessarily what, what is um, of interest here, because I think what is more important is the, what I've picked up is that, um, on, on a more individual level is where people are actually feeling a sense of dread. They don't know how, um, what's going to happen. As far as the lockdown is concerned, I would imagine there's a sense of dread, like if people don't obey the rules, there could be um, yeah. serious repercussions for them and communities beyond. But on a more individual level, it's how am I gonna cope? Um, what's, what's gonna happen to my job? Um, what's gonna happen to my um, connections, my, uh, you know, my exercise routine, I can't go out. Um, there, there's all sorts of things that I've heard people voicing um, fear about. One of them also, uh, how am I going to get to the shops? Although in, in our um, situation, shopping is allowed, but some people obviously don't want to leave the house because their health is too compromised. So basic things like just keeping your household running. So it's, it's, there are a lot of things that people are talking about. And I would say... Dread is the main emotion, and it comes from a sense of fear that's just like, I, I don't know if this is actually manageable. Right. So, so would, you, would you say, is that the biggest problem? What is the biggest problem right now? Interesting. I think the biggest problem is something that people aren't actually talking about. They are busy talking about all the external things, but the internal things um, either they don't want to voice those things or they're completely unaware that those things are worrying them. Um, I think there's, there's a lurking, um, you can call it a fear, but it's, it's more a deep, low grade anxiety mm. that is um, sitting there behind people's consciousness. It's not really reached their consciousness yet. And it's this, this fear that actually somehow they may, lose it. They, they may not actually be able to cope emotionally and mentally mm. with being totally cut off from other people. Obviously, we can phone people, but not being able to just go out into the street and see what we think of as normal life and being cooped up in our house. And for some people, that house is very small. Um, it's, a, it's a scary prospect. And for some people, um, uh, well, let me say this for me, um, I'm visually impaired and for many years I have had to be housebound. What, what I noticed for myself, um, there was the sense sometimes that I was totally um, unlike everybody else. I was not normal. Mm -hmm. I was not seeing the world the way everybody else was seeing it. And I wasn't sure if I was right or they were right. If they were right, then I was wrong, which meant that maybe I was losing it. And it's a hard thing to talk about. Um, it's, um, it's a, it, you can think of it as a shameful thing. And people hate shame. People usually veer right away from shame. And I think there's that problem, which is, um, which is lurking in the background, almost like a, like a dark stranger that you don't want to even face. Wow, that's, that's really something to think about. Thank you for that. Um, so what advice then can you give these people, all of us, who, mm. who might be feeling that way, Leanne? Well, you know, as I say, from my own experience, I'm not a, a professional, um, a medical professional. And so everything I share here is really just things that I've learned through, <laughs> through you know, grinding through it. Um, the important thing is to um, be sure that you know that you are okay 
and the only way you can do that is to um, to maintain control and to get the reassurance that the control that you're maintaining is actually the right sort of control. Um, wh what I like to suggest is that uh, you somehow put regulations in place in your, no, not regulations, that's the wrong word. <laughs> you, you put sort of routines, let's say, in place in your, own, in your own life so that you actually have these little controls in place. You can, every, every time you sort of meet your little mark, uh, you can tell yourself, okay, this is proof that I'm not losing it. It's, it's just like a little pat on the back. You've, you've um, met your expectation for the day, whether it's um, perhaps um, just doing your work or whatever, but tick it off, let yourself know that you're fine. Um, but perhaps more powerful than that is to check in with other people. Yeah. And um, I, I like the idea of just, uh, chat, chatting to one or two people a day and about normal things and if you kind of feel that you're not doing okay is to actually admit it and say you know I think I might not be doing okay do I sound as if I'm um, paranoid or getting to you know getting depressed or whatever mm -hmm. and obviously one has to have those um, people that you can speak to because that's being very vulnerable and you need to have one or two people that you can be vulnerable with and what I'd like to say also is if you actually get to the point where you you feel that um, you really might be losing it, you, and perhaps even your friends or your family are saying, "Listen, stop talking like that. You 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 really are making far too much of it, or you're saying things that just aren't true." Um, at that point, it really is important to get help from a counselor, a psychologist, and I know um, wherever you are in the world, there are helplines, and it's important to have those at hand so that you can call on people who are experienced counselors to help you through that. But just in general, I think it's important, like I say, um, you haven't got much control because of the lockdown. So that's just a, a, a given. So make sure that you have some control in your personal life. You keep things running, you keep things as normal as possible um, on, a, um, on a practical level, and you keep talking to people. And uh, one idea I'd like to throw out is just, um, uh, to keep your own record, your own journal over this time, because it actually is history being made in, in our lives. And in years to come, we'll be able to tell our grandchildren about it. Um, and these documents for our family will be incredibly valuable. So that's one way of recording your, your thoughts and feelings and getting them down. And then when you look at them, you can tell, you know, are you perhaps losing it? And then that would give you some, some, um, uh, understanding of what your next step would be but just know who your enemy is your enemy is the fear of, right. of going crazy and yeah. face it it's very normal it's, you know you have a, a sense of responsibility and that's a healthy thing a sense of independence but um, don't let that fear of going crazy take control of you right well, thank you, Leanne. Gee, that's a lot of food for thought today. And I really enjoy the idea of the writing down. I think that in itself, I think there's a lot um, of, a, of, of good advice around that. And that is actually from medical sources. But I, I found it myself just writing mm -hmm. down, especially when there has been big changes happening in your life. Mm -hmm. So writing it Definitely. down, keeping a log. And I love the idea of the routines. It's just creating some routine around your life yeah it helps. So, it helps yes and it's also basically about making sure you you're not going crazy <laughs> and that you know how this is going to work yeah you've got some yeah idea of it. lovely so thank you so much for that and we so we're ending up um finishing up on day one today and we'll continue on on day two of the series tomorrow and Great. remember to find all the details of leanne and all her published books and, and her blogs if you look at the contacts below on the information around her website etc mm -hmm. have a lovely day everybody bye Good. thank you bye bye <laughs>